how much do lawyers cost? Is there a range? Do you have a packaging system? Do you have a limited scope situation? Tell me all about how you charge and what people could expect from, I guess, you and your peer group as a range. Yeah, so, so most firms uh, operate a little differently than ours. Most firms will give a person a price plus disbursements, but not really explain what the disbursements are. Uh, sometimes they'll add on file administration fees, they'll add on photocopy charges, which aren't proper disbursements. A disbursement is something that the firm pays to a third party on their client's behalf. Um, you know, like sending a fax is not a disbursement. Um, and I've seen some funny things where partners of a firm form a number company that buys the title and buys the tax search for $6 each and sells them back to the firm for $35. That's not okay, it shouldn't happen. But you know, my view when I started real estate law was that if you're doing this for a living, you should be able to figure out how many couriers you need and how much land titles is good, because it's a formula. You can figure out what these numbers are gonna be, it's not that hard. And so we, we like on our website, we publicly display what our fees are and they include all the usual disbursements. Um, so sometimes I'm sure we lose clients because they say, well, you know, they're a little more expensive and then they get their bill from the other firm, they're all mad because, mm -hmm. oh, oh, that didn't include the disbursements. The other thing is it keeps us accountable. So, you know, if a firm is a plus disbursement fee structure, if let's say the lawyer forgets to witness something, they've got to send a courier to land titles on a rush back and forth, whatever, like like an extra 50 bucks in couriers, they just add that onto their, their client's bill. It doesn't matter. Like us, that comes out of our pocket. So like we're, we're encouraged to keep things going efficiently. Um, we talked about title insurance and how some firms just throw it on their client's tab. So like title insurance does offer some protection to the lawyer when a, when a client has that policy. Um, but you know, if you're doing your job, you should be doing your job and you don't have to worry about it. Um, so like some of those firms will be just throwing it on and adding that on as a disbursement uh, for the client's bill without getting you know, their permission to do that. So it's, you know, they're, they're, there's all over the map, but there's a pretty tight range. And real estate law is really like, it's not a higher margin area of law. Like there's, there's a lot of competition in it, but there is a big difference between uh, someone who is working from home, maybe without support staff, um, um, and they might not be able to provide the same level of service as someone that's got like a full team being able to address all clients' issues. Everyone has um, their priority. For some people, they just want like the cheapest. And I've told people, I will give you the cheapest lawyer in the city. I don't want you to sign a waiver, but you know, th that is, if that's someone's value, that's okay. Like there's no judgment on it. Some people will buy like crappy tools or cars that are gonna fall apart or you know, like you know, whatever, like everyone has a different tr choices. Um, we're about the middle of the road and there's some firms that are more expensive. Some of them offer really, really good service and some of them kind of offer average service. So it's like any other, um, uh, industry, I suppose, that way. Mm.